Show later. That would have been a scandal. The papers would have got a hold of that and they would have said burping zig. They would have turned it round, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, twisted the whole thing upside yes. down. Well, it could have been worse. It could have come out the involved. other end. Yeah. And then I've got a center spread. Zig. Okay. Yeah. We've got Brookie stars coming in. Who's coming in? in the bathroom. We've got, we've got Te. 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 Teddy's coming He's in. coming in. Yeah. And we've also got Anna. Anna the nanny. Scarlet woman. She's a scarlet escort woman. She is. That's that, that, that scandal. I'm not even going to talk about it because that's just scandal. Okay, then. I'm not even sure what it means, but it definitely is scandal. Okay, we got some mad mail, great mad mail. Thanks for sending it. Thank We've got to read it out now. Here we go. Most sincerely, we've been there This was from Mark M. Callier, and he said that um, he sent me in an Isle of Man 50p, but haha, you can't spend it because it's not legal tender. But the funny thing is, uh, Mark, uh, it's not a 50p note at all. It's a 50 quid note. Thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the old man. You made a mistake. <laughs> Last one, Ziggy Boy. Okay, what's this then, boss? Have hey, hey, a look at that. Have hey, a look at what that. What is this? That is from Jane and Melissa in Plymouth. It's not a celebrity burnt toast collection, is it? It certainly is. Wow! Look there, Brilliant. Cindy Crawford's toast, which, which actually was uh, from a breakfast I had with her <laughs> okay. in Hollywood. Yeah. Sag brought me back that, that one. In fact, Sag got me all of these celebrity pieces of toast that he's been on lunch or breakfast with people. Bit, Isn't this sent in by a viewer? Yeah, well, but pretend I did. Pretend, pretend. Oh. They don't. <laughs> That's a little And here's one though. from the Queen when I had a little uh, brunch with her, talking oh, about my you? OBE. When did you meet the Queen? <laughs> oh, the other day. And uh, <laughs> there's uh, one of Ziggs, uh, which I put in myself, and yeah. uh, Melissa, and uh, lots more other ones there. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, thanks, Jane and Melissa. Oh, thanks. So there you have this dish. You can take this picture of you in your car. I did it on my school computer and with the help of my friend Patrick Chambers from Freddie Kenny. What a clever He's eight and three quarters and it's cool. That is very excellent. Wow! Brilliant! Me Ready? <laughs> Isn't it amazing what you can do with a computer? <laughs> have you played the funny face game behind a piece of paper? No. Okay, so it's going to be miserable like this. Ready? Like that? Yeah, let me do, let me do. I've got a funny feeling it's not really going to work, is it? <laughs> no, you got to change your face. So one more go. Ready? You see, Chris? How, you how, see, Chris, how, how you do you do it? What see, makes it change? Oh, Sorry, like Chris. Chris, can I have a quick word, Chris? What? See, he thinks that it'll actually make it change. He doesn't have to do anything. Okay, you show, show him. You show him. You show him. <laughs> okay, me, 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 me. <laughs> the factories of God! Anyway, look, here's the best to write some more Mad Mail Mad Mail, please, the big back with two legs, good, I'll do it for him, it's going Okay, and we got the Brookie stars coming, so don't miss that, but now it's the, the clip. Brookie. Hey, the, hey, the Chris Mal clippies, does the goat get a lift and a member team phone? It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now I'm going to go upstairs to meet, hey, Te and Anna from Brookie. Brookie! Hey, 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 Te from Brookie. It's, it's, it's Kaja. It's Kaja. in the bathroom. Brookie in the bathroom. Brookie in the bathroom. Kaja, hi, Kaja. You play. You two are on TV, you are. Go on, Come on, Telly. You are. I thought you were hey. Well, I, I am, but only in the mornings. But you're That's on telly more on. than we are. Yeah. Are we? <laughs> yeah. And you're better looking, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yes, you no, are. No, I'm not. Hey, and I haven't had my what? tears. Are you doing what? all right? No, 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 no. All right, yeah. Kissing. No, no, no. Kissing. No, no, no. I'm kissing. I'm, kissing. I'm European. We kiss people. Oh, no, oh, the cheap conversations. If you just don't know what's going on, it's like a game of tennis. We watch this doubles pair or this doubles pair. What were you talking about? You two. He was asking how blue he was, I said it was oh, sound. Oh, what were you talking about, snogging? Yeah, well, I know two <laughs> kissing and I only... Oh, wait a second, wait a second. He does need kissing, but only with certain people. What? Wait one second. What's that, Zagabo? Wait one oh, yeah, second. What's that, Zagabo? I know what character you play, young lady, and by <laughs> golly, it's not. Not part of the scheme of things or not the yeah! dumb thing. Just get it's only a character, Zag. She's a scarlet woman. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit more scarlet than I am. Aha! 
quite true. Uh, now listen, oh. Zagan is now famous for his four-line oh. intros, but there are two of you, and he's got one each. Is that right? Huh? Oh yes, yeah. indeed, Take indeed. Four-line intro number one. Kasia Pelka is half Irish and half Polish and plays the minx of Brookside Scarlet Woman. Uh, who is trying to snare her uh, so she can stay in the country? She first appeared in Brookside one year ago Ooh. as the nanny to the Farnhams. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, is, it time, is it time for te? 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 All right, te? It's te? It's te? I think I've seen te and all the water. Well, <laughs> good like, I haven't seen them yet. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. <laughs> Brian Regan oh. played te hey, in Brookside since it started. Te? Hey, don't start. Te currently runs a garage on Trading Post. Uh, he is attracted to Anna. But who can say what will happen? <laughs> oh, do you want me to tell you what's going to happen? Well, I wouldn't mind, Ted. Yeah, well, they get engaged, they have a little engagement, don't they? You know, a little bit of oh. a... Do you want to come? Oh. Oh, it's a party. very little ring. <laughs> hey, oh, Ted, yeah, yeah, I'd like to be there. Uh, what was that? No. Oh, Bat's no. not going to be there. Bat! Oh, Bat. Big Bad Bat! Oh, he's not going to be there, no. he? No, no, because no, Big Bad Bat's going to come along and stick a spanner in the works again. Are you, yeah, are you yeah. serious? <laughs> yeah? OK, it's question time, question time, Brookie Stars. Right? Um, if you could both play another character in Brookside, who would it be? That's the worst yeah. action in the world. <laughs> <laughs> OK! Go on, sorry, who would it I'd, uh, I'd play, um... I played Barry actually. Why? So you could beat Tet up. Yeah, because I'm yeah. hard like that. Tet can fight back. Who would you play Tet? He's not there anymore, but I'd like to have played Daddy Cross. <laughs> yeah, cool. Daddy was cool. Hey. Oh, what a cool Daddy character. Brown. Yeah. Okay then. Question number two. In your opinion, who was the best neighbour in Brookies? Uh, to borrow a cup of sugar from. Best. Um, well, nobody ever spoke to me. That was the problem. Not surprised. Paris never it spoke to me. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It would have been the Grants when they were there. The, the Grant family. Ah, yeah. they were sound. It would have been the Grants. They were the best ones. <laughs> they were. What about you? Well, as I say, nobody ever spoke to me. You I never get one. invited to parties well, because or because weddings. Like that. You, you're playing no, that part. Why, <laughs> because every time you speak to it, it costs you a few quid, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 okay, uh, question number three. Brookside is a close, confirmed? Yes. How close are you two? Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd say we're, uh, uh, I'd uh, say uh, we're um, inseparable at the moment. Okay, you have a new kissing and things at Brookside. Big man! <laughs> more money when I want to kiss her. I've only ever kissed once on Brookside when I tried to kiss Peter, but he wasn't very interested. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> It says here uh, on the script, Chris points out that every soap guest allowed in our bathroom has to give away a juicy bit of storyline. Can you two reenact a little snippet preview of tomorrow's episode, please? You're a good reader, aren't you, Chris? Yeah. Do, can you do the engagement scene, apparently? Yeah. Yeah. Can we do it? Yeah. 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 Got okay. something for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, oh, you can open them now. Where is it? Well, you know, the big I'm breakfast. I'm a serious actress, I know it's supposed Brian. to be a big, like, but the I'm big breakfast budget actress. doesn't cover us because everybody will be able to work if you went out and bought the 2 If this was the RSC or the National, you'd have a prop. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, there is. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now you, we're going to go on to... We're going to go to video games, which has got to be an anti-climax after that, hasn't it, really? But well, anyway, not really, uh, not really, Chris, because it's my part of the this show. This is the first one. Evo, uh, you've got to be quick. It's called Evo, the search for Eden on Super Nintendo. It's out of US import 49.99. You are one of the first fishy creatures ever to inhabit the Earth. Find your way through many prehistoric eras in the search for Eden. Not only do you come up against 4.6 billion years worth of scary monsters, but your character evolves according to how well you do. You could get bored with this, but I don't think so. The graphics are spot on. Boring. But... <laughs> Backdrops are changing constantly. Okay, good, Not big bad. deal. Okay, okay, number, number two. two. It's called Switch, Switch. on the Sega Me Mega CD. Uh, yeah, the world has gone crazy. Hoovers and lawnmowers are eating everything. It's Chris, stop it. Magic genies live in hair dryers and dolphins are swimming to your living room. You are this little chap. Stop, Chris. Little chap slap and you and your dog. Your dog stick must sort out the muddle. Japanese import 49.99. We were giving you a bit of a jiggle. Chris, stop it. Get lost. 
Right now, game number three, here it game is. Game number three, the ultimate stuntman on Nintendo. Woo. Dr. Evil has kidnapped America's top ballistic missile expert and plans to use her knowledge to go to gain world domination since the FBI failed to topple the dastardly Dr. Yu. Yes, indeed, the ultimate stuntman are the nation's only hope. This game combines an archive st stop style turbo car chase with platform. Ow! What? Out now, cost twenty nine ninety nine. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, thanks, Zach. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're running for <laughs> Okay, well, well it has to be lovely done. meeting you both, and you. uh, you're welcome back anytime you like. Yeah. Oh, but not Tomorrow? for a while. Not for a while, though. In fact, oh, yeah. it didn't okay. really mean. Leave it. a couple of months. Yeah. But uh, we'll we'll right. see the scene that you saw here. Second on Channel 4 on Brookside tomorrow. Indeed. It won't be as good, obviously, but it'll still be quite good. So what? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got a question about the clip. And the question about the clip is uh, who's behind the blur? And remember, <laughs> don't vote, it's just for fun. fun.